Hello and welcome, I am Maladrum and today we are going to continue in our tutorial series, the advanced tutorial series covering how to make our own custom meshes and textures, import them into Skyrim so that we can fight with our own blade that we made in Blender. Uh, so if you haven't been here for the other tutorials or you're just jumping in late, that's what we've been covering and today we're going to talk about kind of lighting and uh, how we're going to add the blood effects to our sword and after that we're going to move into things like importing this into Nifscope which is a, is a piece of work I'll tell you that but if you follow along you'll get through it don't don't worry trust me we'll we'll do this so right now we're gonna cover some lighting issues I have made this new sword don't worry I have not progressed more than what I did on the other sword I wasn't completely pleased with what the other sword was like I was kind of apathetic to it as I was really just doing some examples um, so that you could follow along but this is an actual sword that I've made just to catch up because I think it looks better so if you've been in previous tutorials you know I was making a different sword that looked kinda crappy um, but I decided to restart on the sword itself and this is what I have um, but as I said I haven't progressed any further than I should so we can just keep going along together as if this was the sword I had made all along so here's my sword and something that I did not cover in the last uh, tutorial with texturing and modeling is lighting and that's a key part of how things will look in Skyrim especially for blood and we'll get to that in a second how that's lit um, and how it will look in game when the lighting of Skyrim is on our mesh now right now if you have not done anything additional than what you followed along with with previous tutorials you'll see that when we render this if we are to render it this won't render the whole view oh, I've got something from an example in there still there we go this is what it looks like now this kind of makes it look like rubber or plastic or just a toy sword and it just looks nasty it doesn't look like a look like a real sword it won't be well lit in game this is what it'll look like in game and how light how it will react to the light and that will also be covered in a tutorial on changing glow and such and such and uh, a, a later time for t textures and stuff adding the normal maps but that's next tutorial um, something that we can do to fix this is simply go to our objects w window and lower the intensity of the specular value not the not the defuse value sorry that really doesn't play a huge role in this just make sure, sure that's up there but specular if you turn it down the more you turn it down the less aggressively our mesh will react to the light so if we render this again you can see that the light is clean on our sword it looks fine and it actually looks like a real sword as it does in the creation view and that's really all you have to do to fix that so now that I've covered that we're gonna talk about blood so the way blood is handled in game is there are two things let me take this out of view and show you their steel sword from Skyrim that I imported into here if you import a mesh from Skyrim you will notice that there seem to be a few blades and two of these are detached from the actual blade mesh this is the entire sword the blade these are the other blades that I, I mentioned so why are there three well these two are actually well one of these is basically a texture or not really it's kind of a placeholder for the blood and the other 
handles how that blood will be lit in game. Now, which one is which doesn't matter all too much because you'll kind of notice in um, Nifscope, but each will be, be the same size, the same dimensions, they're just the same. What they did was they took the blade and duplicated it, may, maybe scale this out just a tiny, tiny bit just to make sure the blood can show on the blade. Let me show you what we can do here. So let's say I've got edge blood here and edge blood handles the blood like this is where the blood texture will be placed when the game says we just hit something or someone and now blood needs to be on this blade because we did that. This texture must be scaled just a tiny bit larger than the blade on the sword mesh itself because when you hit something blood will cover this now it won't cover the entire thing but it will cover parts of it and this mesh actually this won't show up like in game as its own mesh attached to the blade as I said, this is this handles the blood texture. So that's what that does. And the other one, it that will be in the same spot and just as scaled. That handles making sure the game knows that the blood is now lit, and that is how it will be able to show up in game. Or, well, it can show up, up without it, but it won't look as, as good. So, this might or might not be easier than you think. Um, the first time, it's kind of weird to try and handle. So, I'm going to close this out. Here's our sword. And we're going to make our edge bloods, or so they're called. In the game, it is referenced by the name Edgeblood and Edgeblood01. I recommend using the same names. So, grab your entire blade of your sword that we made, and then duplicate it. I would hit P and separate by selection because this is going to be a completely new part of our mesh. And I'm going to rename these other edge bloods so I don't get things messed up. These are for the example. There we go. So as you can see we have already made this and we're going to scale it outward and up just a little tiny tiny bit just barely as you can see that's what I just did and there are parts of it that don't quite meet so let's scale it up just a bit more so we've just scaled our extra blade we could say as we could call it and we're going to rename it to Edge Blood. Rename my sword. So now we've got Edge Blood handled. Now we need Edge Blood 01, which I believe is the one that handles light. But I can't recall for sure. But, but we just need that. So all you have to do is select your edge blood and duplicate that. And again, separate by selection. And then Blender renames it to edge blood 0 0.001. Change it appropriately, and you get edge blood 01. Now in Blender, of course, this won't show the blood textures and it will actually show you this duplicate blade these two duplicate 
blades, but it's not going to show because we're going to import it into NIFScope and it's going to look fine. So that is edge blood and how to fix the lighting that will look horrible in Skyrim if you don't fix it. And quick render again, you have these beautiful beautiful lit renders and we'll cover more on what parts of your sword you want to be more lit in the next tutorial which parts you want to react and behave differently depending on the light and that involves grayscale and normal mapping covers depth and we'll cover all of that in the next tutorial so I will see you guys there